As of soon 2022 governorship election is approaching and campaigns is on top gear. A non-governmental organization in Osun State, Positive Agenda Nigeria, during the weekend, gathered politicians across party lines, INEC officials, CSOs, journalists, and other stakeholders to discuss its observation of the campaign monitoring activities so far. Positive Agenda Nigeria has embarked on campaign monitoring in Osun State, and this seminar, tag dissemination seminar, was aimed at revealing to the public its findings in the last four weeks. There is always two sides to good governance, those who are leading and those who are being led. And so what we are saying is that this kind of research focuses on the interaction between the two hands. The political parties are coming to sell their party programs, to sell their candidates. How are they doing it? What are they doing in the course of doing it? That's one. On the other side, people are also there um, trying to get the information uh, that the political parties are trying to pass across so that they can make informed choices. And that is what defines the democracy. When people have access to information, they have access to choices, and they are able to make an informed choice. Stakeholders called on political parties to play by the rule and ensure that their campaigns are issue-based, devoid of personality attacks. To know that it is his duty to conduct a credible, a feel free, fair, and credible and acceptable election. As a youth, to know that nobody can hire you as a top for any political party. I think um, research is one of the areas where Nigerians love to run away from. This particular program by Positive Agenda Nigeria has gone in the law. I mean, it's going to help our democracy a lot. Political parties, as we count down to the 2022 gubernatorial election in Ontario State, all political parties should ensure their campaigns are issue-based. They should not be name corning it should not be banter-throwing, it should not be denigration of personalities and individuals. It should be about issues, it should be about policies, it should be about what they intend to do, how they intend to govern, and how to make the society better, knowing fully well that governance determines the kind of followership, and followership the kind determines the kind of leaders that we have. So I enjoy our political parties to play according to the rule, speak to issues, speak to policies, and stop individual and personality denigration. I believe that uh, what should constitute a campaign, it should be dissemination of ideas of a political party, the manufacture of such a political party, and what they intend to do for the state. A political party that want to go to campaign, supposed to have examined, evaluate, and look at the variables of the needs, on the yearnings, on the aspirations of the people, and uh, conceptualize this, and develop it into an, an agenda. An agenda in such a way that their campaign will be telling us how to answer the question of economy, answer the question of uh, education, the health status of the state, the issue of women empowerment, youth engagement, and all form of issues that has to do with our society and the state development. Some of the participants spoke with Inside Links TV. They all commended Positive Agenda Nigeria for the initiative and called on political parties to use the report as a guide in their public engagement henceforth. All women and the others, every one of us, at one point or the other, have the need to, to get improved. So that's why I will say that it cannot be limited to my party alone. It has to be across board. Everybody needs to improve and, you know, get better. As a party, you need to let the people know what you are doing. And whenever you are attacked or said something you need to defend that and tell the people the actual picture the true picture of the situation of things so it's not about maybe because we've done a lot no we need to be doing both at the same time telling the people what we have done and at the same time whenever we found any misinformation fake news or uh, disinformation out there we need to clear the air and tell the people especially if you if you look at the the opposition that we are dealing with in ocean state they are very toxic 
they can be very bad when it comes to you know dishing out fake news and all that so we need to be on our toes so that to 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 nip it in the bud as they are bringing it out we are dispelling the rumor it was a gathering of the town and gang politicians you know our youth students and academics have gathered here to review what the research of positive agenda in nigeria in the last four weeks have been most especially, the stakeholders, civil society members applauded the positive agenda in Nigeria for what they have been able to do. And they also advised political parties on how to play their games in order to have a sane political atmosphere in Osho ahead of 2022 governorship election. From Fanta University, Oshogbo, Jari Tiamiyu, Insta Links TV.